Once upon a time, in a kingdom, there were 12 princesses who were famous for being beautiful. Each person had her own beauty. No one is the same. The king was very strict in teaching the princesses. He forced his children to learn embroidery and sewing, those subjects he considered suitable mm. for girls. Ladies, this is enough for today. Get to your room to continue learning sewing. You girls need to know things like that. Almost except for meals, princesses had to stay in their rooms. They were not allowed to go anywhere. My daughters are also starting to reach the age of marriage. All of them are so beautiful. When the time comes, there will be countless nobles or princes would come to propose. The king especially hated dancing, so he never allowed his children to learn to dance. But this strictness made the twelve princesses feel suffocated. They were always looking for ways to step out of border and learn more about their hobbies such as dancing or painting. What is this? Didn't I banish dancing? Father, these shoes were torn just by accident. We use them to practice sewing. <laughs> Every night when the princesses went to sleep, it was the king who closed the door and latched. But till the next morning, the king always saw their shoes were all torn, and he couldn't figure what <gasps> was happened. Wake up! What happened to these shoes? You, tell me, did you hide me to go dancing again? Father, you are the one who locked the door every night. How could we get out? Those were torn due to our long-term usage. We didn't manage to fix them. <laughs> the king had to spread words looking for help. Oh, great! Look! If I could find where the princesses dance at night, I could have anything. I could be a princess consort. <laughs> That's awesome! The point is, can you do it in three days? If not, you'll have to take the unknown burden. Are you sure about that? There were many noblesses, as well as princes from neighbor territories came to figure out. But none of them succeeded. Then all had to get their <laughs> own punishment. There was a man named Nolan who was well known for his kind hearted. Despite of his poor condition, he always helped people anytime he could. <laughs> heard the news from the capital, he also wanted to join. Oh, a challenge? I want to take it for myself. Let's go! On the road, he saw an old lady in danger. She was surrounded by the bandits. As a demobilized soldier, he immediately rushed in to fight the bandits without thinking. Then he saved the old lady. Ma'am, are you alright? You must be hungry. I have a bread here. You hmm? keep it. Thank you so much. I have nothing for you. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm not hungry anyway. May I ask for where are you heading to? Ah, I'm going to take the challenge of the king. In a blink <laughs> of an eye, the old lady turned into a fairy. It turned out all things just happened was set up by the fairy huh? to test any person who came by. And huh? Nolan was the only one who dared to help the old lady against the bandits. Huh? Young man, let me tell you this. You are the only one who passed my challenge. To thank you for your generosity and kindness, I will give you one thing. This invisibility cloak is your reward. Of course, the way you use it define your future. Consider it carefully. Remember my words. If you want to pass the king's challenge, you need to stay away from any given by the princess. With the invisibility cloak, Nolan gained more confident about finding the place where the princesses often hang out. When the man reached the king, he was set up to stay in a room which was next to the princess's room. These princesses were really haughty. No one bothered to ask Nolan even a single question, except for the youngest princess. Hi! Hi, princess! Nolan found out the youngest princess was so linkable, he gradually got feelings for her. The youngest princess was so adorable and hospitable. She's not as haughty as I thought. During the daytime, the youngest princess often reached to Nolan to talk. It seems that the youngest princess was too protected. She does not know many thing about the world outside. Nolan's stories really got she attracted.
As there was a feeling for her and no precaution was taken, Nolan didn't find out anything for the first two days. Because every night before sleep, the youngest princess always brought a drink to invite Nolan. She actually drugged him to sleep until the next morning. After a short time in touch with Nolan, the youngest princess gradually realized Nolan's good nature. This Nolan is not so bad. He has no evil mind for money or for profit at all. Till the third morning, the king came for Nolan. Mm. Nolan, have you found any useful? Remember, today is the last day. If you don't have any news, you shall be executed. Try not to waste my time. Huh? Remember my words. If you want to pass the king's challenge, you need to stay away from any given by the princess. Until that night, the youngest princess again reached Nolan's place and brought a drink. <laughs> oh, Nolan, this is the last mm. night. I brought you a drink as my hope for you to pass the challenge. Nolan grabbed the drink and drank it. The man was like drugged. He couldn't open the eyes anymore. The princess saw Nolan fell into sleep. She softly snuck out to her room. Should I do that? What if... Anyway, I can't betray my sisters. Tomorrow morning at most, I will ask father to spare him. However, she could not have imagined that as soon as she walked out of the room, Nolan got up. He spat out the drink in his mouth, put on his invisibility cloak, and followed her. Got into the princess's room, Nolan got surprised when he saw the strange actions of the oldest princess and an underground tunnel appeared. Nolan quickly followed the princesses. He then discovered the twelve princesses were following a secret path to a secret garden. The path was so beautiful, decorated by trees with silver leaves. Sis, I had a feeling someone follow us. Come on, this isn't your first time, is it? Who could figure out our secret? Oh, are you worrying about the man named Nolan? Following for a while, Nolan was led to a <laughs> splendid underground garden. A melodious song resounded. The princesses one by one stepped on the wooden floor, showing their confidently dancing. The captivating sound made Nolan wanted to drop his cloak and join the princesses. It turned out that the twelve princesses still come here every night to practice dancing. Huh? Sisters, it's about morning. We need to go back or that Nolan could find out. During the return to the palace, Nolan tried to stay one step ahead of the sisters. He went back to his bedroom, took off his cloak, and went to bed snoring like the last night. See? You hear that snoring? Do you have to worry anymore? The next morning, the king called the twelve princesses and Nolan into the palace. How's that, Nolan? Have you found out the place where my daughter stepped on last night? The princesses <laughs> giggled, confident that Nolan would fail like the others. But things didn't turn out the way they thought. What could a deadly sleeping know? Your Majesty, I have my answer. Please follow me. Huh? Nolan opened huh? the tunnel the same way the oldest huh? princess used. He led the king along the path lined with the silver leaf trees that he mm. went to the splendid garden last night. Our princesses shouldn't be hiding this forever. What's wrong with pursuing your passions and dreams? By this time, the twelve princesses had to admit it. Father, huh? please don't force us to give up our private mm. space and hobbies. The more forbidden, the more we yearn to learn about the outside world. This place is known from the letter that our mother left. She left us a secret path to this garden. To us, this is the path to our dream. So we also want to be like her, to satisfy our passions. After listening to his children, the king suddenly realized that he seemed to have been too strict, making his children uncomfortable. The root of all came from the queen's departure, mother of twelve princesses. In the past, the king loved his queen very much. He always supported her in everything, 
including her passion for dancing. <laughs> However, while they were hanging out on a mountain, due to carelessness when dancing, the queen unfortunately slipped and fell off the edge. The king especially hated dancing. Yes. Even in the biggest festival of the kingdom, dancing was also banished. The king had changed his mind. He allowed the ladies to go out, do what they liked, and get to know the people they felt suitable for. The king kept his promise. <laughs> Nolan was promoted an mm. earl, and his request was to allow to date the youngest <laughs> princess. Fortunately, the youngest mm. princess also had feelings for Nolan, so it wasn't long before they fell in love. The wedding ceremony was held in the royal palace. The two of them lived happily ever after.